Hi, in this video I would like to present our new Arduino compatible board, the Arduino R4. It's this board. The Arduino R4 is the Elector evolution of the Arduino Uno R3, this board. As you know it, the very famous Uno R3. We took the design of the R3 and added a new processor, the 80 Mega 328 PB, which has more options than the original microcontroller of the Arduino Uno, and so we created the Arduino R4. The Arduino Uno, as you can see on the right, for me on the left, is a DIP processor on an SMD uh, design. Our new R4 board is a fully SMD design because the new processor, the PB version, is only available in SMD uh, version. The two processors are identical except that the PB version has more I.O. and more peripherals than the B version. So in this version, in this processor, we have two serial ports, we have two I2C buses, we have two SPI ports, we have three timers more, and also more PWM, and all in the same uh, package. Basically, the R4 is a R3, except that it offers more. So I can show on the PC the differences. Here we have the project on elector.labs. Here we can see the board. And here I have a table with the differences. So the Uno R3 is one UART, word one SPI or SPI, one I2C, 20 GPIO pins, six analog inputs, six PWM outputs, and three timers. Whereas the Elector R4 board has two UARTs, two SPI or SPI uh, ports, two I2C ports, 24 I.O. pins, uh, eight analog inputs, nine PWM outputs, five timers, and what is called an OCM module, which is an output compare uh, modulation port. This is new on the 80 Mega 328PB. On the Arduino Uno, the USB interface is based on an 80 Mega 16 or something. Whereas we opted for a more recent FTDI chip so that we don't have to develop our own drivers. To support the extra uh, I.O. of the new chip, we added four pins to this connector here, uh, which is now called port E. And on this port we find uh, the new, the second I2C port. Important thing also so is that the R4 board can run on 5 volts or on 3.3 volts, whereas the Uno can only run on 5 volts. Running an Arduino on 3.3 volts is very useful if you want to use it with uh, low voltage uh, sensors, uh, I2C sensors for instance, you can do it without a level shifter. Um, so the Elector R4 board is completely compatible, downward compatible with the Arduino R3, Uno R3. Um, I will now show you how to use it inside the Arduino IDE, because the hardware is very similar, but to make it work in the Arduino IDE, we had to do a lot of uh, software. And I will show you how to install it properly. So for this, you open Arduino, and you go to the preferences. We have to install a boards package. We prepared a boards package, which is available on GitHub. You have to enter in this box the URL to the boards package file, which you can find here on GitHub, on the Electrolabs site of GitHub. It's this link. So I'll try to copy it. Paste it in the preferences. There we go. Okay. Then you go to Tools, Board. And then you go to the Boards Manager. You see down uh, at the bottom of this window, it starts downloading the Platforms Index. And it will also download the file that we just um, entered in the Preferences box. Then you can go to Contributed. And there we see the Elector Boards. Now this is a PB board because it's the 80 Mega 328 PB. So we check, uh, click this uh, entry. Then you click the install button and Arduino IDE will start downloading the tools that you need to use this board inside Arduino IDE. This takes a while because it's a big file, or well, it depends on your internet connection of course. The file is about uh, 
60 megabytes uh, in size. So we wait while it downloads, we turn our thumbs. And what we do actually is that we install our own tool chain inside the Arduino IDE. The problem is that the, the, Arduino, the tool chain in Arduino does not know about the new uh, PB versions of the uh, 80 mega. So we have provided our own tool chain for this. It is installed, as you can see here. If you don't want it anymore, you can click the remove button. We just click close. And then from the tools board menu, we scroll down and there we find the Electrolabs boards. This board is the black whiteboard R4, as we uh, baptize it, it's a working name. So it will probably get a new name in the future. Uh, when the board is connected, we open an example. I opened the blink without delay example and it should compile and upload without problems to our new board. There we go. Uploading. And there it is. The LED blinks at the rate as indicated in the software, which is uh, 0.5 Hertz. If you don't believe me, I will change the value now to uh, say 250. And do it again. When it is done compiling, then the LED will blink faster. There we go, it's uploading. And the LED, as you can see, is blinking faster. So this means that you have a successfully installed tool chain for uh, the uh, 80 mega 328 PB, and you can now use the second UART, the second SPI port, the second I2C uh, port, and the PWM uh, functions, and also the extra timers, and all the other extra peripherals that are available in this chip, and still having Arduino Uno compatibility. So have fun, this board will be available, it will be on sale soon, and uh, please uh, link, like or subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel. Goodbye.